We're here at Fort William World Cup to meet racer Taylor Vernon and see his zeroed G3 downhill bike. Now what's special about it is it's got a gearbox, a high pivot and a Gates carbon belt drive. Let's go. Right, so Taylor, you and your new teammate Sam Blenkinsop are on the zeroed factory team this year and you're on a rather special bike. Yeah. So a new bike for us this year, really exciting thing for me to become in a, a team. It's been a, it's been a few years on my own, so pretty cool to be in that environment again. And we get to ride this sick bike, which is uh, totally new to me. Gearbox system, belt drive, yeah, thing's pretty cool. So we saw you had a pre-production version with a grip shift shifter, which was the only way to change gear with a pinion gearbox. Yeah. This bike's got something different. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so uh, the guy's opinion, been working hard to uh, update the gear changing system and this bike actually has a smart shift system which is electronic. How easy is it to actually like change gear because I know sometimes with gearboxes you can't shift under load when you're pedaling? No, no. Uh, this stuff is like say you come into a corner with a hill coming out the other end just come in drop two don't even have to pedal coming in it's just already there waiting just straight on the power as you come out the turn so yeah, that's really cool. Like even in the air and you're preparing for a section, say two corners away, just doo -doo, put it away and you know, you're in the gear you want to be all the time. So, so you can shift without pedaling yeah. and while you're coasting. The, the pinion guys with the smart shift, what they've done, they've programmed it so that when the cranks are up and down and you're not putting any power through them, that's when it shifts. And like you say, it's a DSG yeah. style shift. So yeah. it shifts in microseconds and selects that next gear. It's not like a derailleur yeah. where the chain's got to go from the bottom of the cassette all the way around onto the next one. Correct, yeah. So, so real fast. Apart from that, what's the bike like to ride with all that weight down low and in the center? Honestly, amazing. You know, the weight really helps with the bike just being planted in rougher sections and the cornering, like so much grip in corners, like more bumps to seize, like the more it excels, so. It's kind of got a high pivot, which was similar to the common style you were on two years ago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the bike you were on last year was a prime rocket. Yeah. Um, how does this compare to that? Yeah, so two very different bikes. You know, I was like trying to add weight to that bike as well. Um, it was a good bike, don't get me wrong, but this bike again, just it's hard to say. And it's more of a mind thing for me, like the silence of the bike doesn't make a noise. You, you rail a section good and there's not a noise. You, you just feel like the boy when you come out the other end. <laughs> you at home, turn up the volume, listen to this. There's no noise at all, is there? So that's partly because of the gearbox, but it's also partly because of the, the carbon belt drive. Yeah. Back to the rest of the bike, it's mullet specific. Yeah. So 27 and a half inch yeah. rear wheel. Uh, what size do you run? I run a medium. Uh, I was on a small production, uh, pre-production bike. Right. Uh, so I've kind of brought this back to the small size with a minus six uh, reach adjuster. So, uh, and a shorter stem, 35 mil stem. Uh, I was just like a standard medium guy, but I'm really liking a smaller bike at the minute, the smaller reach, just, if you notice riders at the minute, they're really just standing tall and like letting the bike do the work. And this bike helps you do that a lot, so kind of like that feel. So turning to the suspension, this bike's looking super smart. You've got the new Gold 40 with the stealth adjusters, and you've gone for an air shock on the back. Why is that instead of a coil? I've always tried to get away with air shocks on bikes if I can. Coming from the motocross side of things, prefer a firmer bike. I like that support, you know, early. Like, I know the coil likes to, you know, it's really supple and sometimes sits in a lot, which I kind of like it sit, sitting up a bit more. So that's my reason. Classic. Yeah. And what do you run your suspension settings like? Are you firm, soft, fast, slow? Uh, I'm more air, uh, but really open on compression click. So quite hard, but fast. So it's like supple. It's, yeah, like even Sam, he's like 20 kilos more, he sits and he's like, oh, this is so hard. He's like, how do you ride this? I don't know, it's just, it's just where I'm previous motocross history just makes me run that firmer suspension, I guess. It's super dry here at Fort William this weekend. Tell us a bit about the tyres you're running. Yeah, pretty standard setup for me. Um, DHR2 front and rear, my go-to, I guess, unless it's really muddy. But yeah, I normally run around standard tracks. I'm normally around 23, 25, but here I'll 
raise more pressure, uh, get away with 24, 28, just for them rocks, you know. And you're trying to go as fast as possible, but when you do want to slow down, you've got some rather uh, spangly purple brakes on here. What are they all about? Yeah, they're posher. Uh, yeah, these good Hayes Dominion brakes. Um, just jumped on them for this season and honestly love them. Like really, really nice feel and they're so punchy. It's good. Yeah, you get a lot of modulation and a lot of power with these. So yeah, they're a, they're a good little, little brake. And next, your cockpit. How do you like your bike set up uh, in order to make you comfortable? Like you say, you like to sit up tall. Uh, yeah. Anything else in your cockpit setup? Uh, quite high rise, I guess. I'm around 1100 mark uh, from floor to bar. So it's fairly high for a short guy. Like I said, I just like to be up there. Just strong position. Bars are run. I've actually gone a bit wider this year. They're at 770 now. Uh, catching up with the times, I was a 750 guy, so. And how tall are you and what do you weigh to sort of contextualize your? Uh, I'm short, I'm one of the short guys on the circuit, so I'm 5'7 and I weigh around 67 kilograms. So, yeah, as a short guy, it sometimes helps on the rougher stuff, but on a windy day, I get gusted around a lot. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't be windy this weekend. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, Taylor, best of luck to you in the race. Thank Smash you very it. much. Cheers, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please drop us a like and make sure to subscribe. Let us know what you think of Gearbox bikes in the comments. And if you want to see more great bikes from the Fort William World Cup, click the link here.